Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a BCD27 segment decoder within the circuit wizard. We will use a built-in decoder that is 7447 that is used for the common anode 7 segment displays. So we will just give in input in the form of uh, binary or we can say binary coded decimals and then we will get the output in the form of R on the seven segment displays. So let's start and first we will take or if you if you want to take start uh, from file or project then click on file and then new. Then there are two options elementary and electronics so you need to click on electronics. Then uh, your main window pop up now click on gallery and then go for our seven segment displays and drivers so we will take our 7400 series and we will search for 7447 IC okay so where it is we have to search this is our seven segment decoder and driver so this is our ic after it go for our led displays and we will take our uh, seven segment display we will connect uh, a with first b with second pin c with third pin d with four pin and is like this so so all the pins are connected like this now we have to select this common anode because 7447 is basically for to drive the uh, anode based or common anode based seven segment displays so one two and four and eight pins must be connected with the digital states or input so we will go to logic gates so here it is We will take our input. So this is our input one. Then we will take our second input. Then our third one. And our fourth one. Now this is our first. So this is our fourth one. Okay now, okay now we have to connect this common pin that is common anode pin with our supply. So we have to go for supply and click on this power supplies. Then we have this 5 volt input voltage, we, we need to connect it like this. Okay, we also need to connect this LT, BT and all this with this supply, 5 volt supply. Also BL that is lamp test and all these uh, control pins, okay. These are just for enabling, okay. So now we will run our circuit and we can see that when our input is 0000. And one more thing you must know about the 4 binary uh what's called as the truth table that is zero 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 then zero 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 one then zero zero one zero and then zero zero one one and so on so you must know the truth table if you don't know then you must have to learn first and then you you can deploy it so what first is zero 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 okay then zero 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 one so it is one now one z zero zero one zero is two and zero zero one one is three then zero 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 one zero zero is four then zero one zero one is five then zero one one zero is six then uh, what's called as zero one one and one is seven then make them all zeros and then one zero zero is it and uh, what about uh, 
one zero zero one is nine and one zero one zero is uh, C and then one zero one one is this thing okay it's up to nine it's working properly for us so so it's okay now so so you just have to focus on what's called as the nine okay so this is one double zero one is nine so up to nine it's okay if anything is not working it's not our fault okay now so now in this way you can convert your binary code decimal into corresponding seven segment output so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to make a seven segment display driver with the help of 74ls47 so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel